Welcome back to the show. May 27th, 28th is Ottawa Race Weekend. We're going to have 45,000 runners converge on the Capitol, doing everything from a 1K to a full marathon. And here to tell us about, well, what happens behind the scenes and actually out on the course is Dominic Caminiti and Judy Andrew Peel. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, Judy, your hat. My it's hat? cute, it's adorable. Tell us what that's all about. So I'm the 60 minute pace bunny for the 10K. Uh, me and Chris Bright have been the 60 minute pace bunnies for the 10K for the last nine years. So all of the races, the 10K, the half marathon, the marathon, all have people wearing hats like this. My ears are a little bigger than usual, so I have unusual ears. But um, And we run the race at that pace. So I'm going to run the race. It's going to take me 60 minutes. Um, usually I'm within five seconds of 60 minutes. So if you find me and you follow me, you're going to finish the race in 60 minutes if you can keep up. Well, that's experienced running right there to know, right? And you must be you're tracking yourself as well. I have watches on every arm. I'm, I'm tracking every second. Right. Um, and there's people in the marathon, the half marathon, with different pace times as well. So if you're looking to run a specific pace and you want somebody to kind of run with you, give you some guidance, that's what we're there for. Right. And so how many pace bunnies do you have? all? Because you don't need any more, right? You, you're full up on the, the bunny hutch is, is full. As far as I know, the bunny hutch is full. <laughs> um, there's probably... 40 or 50 of us between the races, maybe a little more. Right. Um, so we cover basically in the 10K, I think we cover everything from 45 minutes to about 75 minutes. And then in the marathon, I believe the fastest bunny is 310. Right. And they go back to sort of five and a half hours, I think. Right, right. 310, that's booking it. That is booking it, yeah. 310 yeah. bunny is pretty efficient bunny, as the bunnies can all run faster than their pace times. Right. So if you're going to be a 310 bunny, you're a pretty speedy bunny. You're a speedy bunny. Yeah. What's it like, because I've been out there, and I've sort of either been passed by or passed a, a pace bunny, because you're not alone. You have your, your bunny crew. You have people who actually find you and then stay with you. We do, and so we try to make it fun for them. We tell jokes. We try to encourage everybody. Um, we try to keep everybody on pace, and yeah, we're actually useful for the spectators too. Because if you're out there and you say you're going to be 60 minutes, people will say, "Hey, goes there goes the 60 minute bunny," and it makes it easier to find your friends too. Right, of course, of course, because everybody there's. It, it, just at the 10K, how many people are running? It's like 10,000 people, it's right? It's like 10,000 people, yeah. Yeah, so you gotta be you got to be pretty quick off the mark to find your friends, that's for sure. So, uh, Dominic, uh, you belong to Extra Mile Crew, that's which right. is a whole other volunteer thing, and you are look. no, you're not looking for volunteers. We're looking for another five or 10 more people. Another five or 10, what do you guys do? So last year we started something that we help people who uh, plan months and months for this race, and sometimes the plans don't go the way people have planned them for. So we sit at uh, various parts of the race. Last year we're at the 34K, 36, 38, and 40, and we help people who are struggling a little bit. We're like that little energy bar at the end of the race to remind people of their goals and to get them across that finish line with a big smile on their face. Right, so how do you do that? Do you, are you handing out energy bars? <laughs> no, we're not physically <laughs> handing out energy bars, but we try to be that energy when people are walking or people are struggling a little bit. Mm -hmm. We have these orange shirts, so you usually can't miss us on the yeah. race day, and we're located in various parts. So if somebody's struggling, we'll walk up or run next to them and ask them if they need a hand. In some cases, people say, no, no, I'll do this on my own, and in some cases, we just run and talk and have conversations. And so it's kind of like a, you're, you're really the encouragement crew. Absolutely. Enthusiasm, mm -hmm. energy, somebody to talk to. Right. And remind people of their goals to, to get, and that big smile at the end is something we look for. I can imagine, especially for first time marathoners, that would be, uh, that service would be really incredible. Absolutely. We're not there for the, the three hour, the three and a half, four hours. We're there for people who are doing their typically first time marathons. Yeah four and a half, five hours and beyond, and people who really have planned for this, and depending on the weather and on the energy levels, sometimes just getting them to that last little bit, and it's amazing what the mind can do with a little bit of support. Yes, no kidding. I mean, you know, you're, you, you have all that self-talk, especially over longer distances, and not everybody can make it to that last kilometer where everybody's clamoring and saying, go, 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 and you're like, yes, I can do it. So that's awesome. So, but Race Weekend does, since we're on Volunteer Week, Race, race Weekend actually needs for volunteers in general for other things, am I right? That's right. So they have water stations, they've got people handing out food, they've got, in our case, the Extra Mile crew. There are so many jobs, people putting out barricades in the morning, cleaning them up, cleaning up garbage. There's tons of stuff to do. And, and in my case, in our case, Extra Mile crew, it's one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, and the place is literally crawling with volunteers. You know, and everybody's doing it for some reason, you know. That's the great thing about Ottawa Race Weekend is, you know, you have your elite athletes who 
you see them on the 10K track and they're done in <laughs> seconds. <laughs> and, and then there's the people who are running for a mother who, as I did, who had bladder cancer and you know, you're raising money for something. You know, so what's the magic point for you guys? Because you do this over and over a year uh, again. Some people, it's just one time they do it. For me, it, it's a satisfaction of helping others. Um, it's myself, my my wife, my two daughters help out, yeah, and it's uh, it's just a phenomenal experience for me. And it's just giving back to the community. It's uh, something you just it's it's really fantastic. Really. Right, and and you've done this nine years. You know what, for me it's the same thing. I mean, I run a lot and so I go to other races and when I go to other races there's volunteers there to help me out. So it's a good chance for me to give back to the running community and help out those runners. And it is fantastic to see them meet their goals, right? I mean, you know, as a 60 minute bunny, it's a big deal the first time you get under an hour. So I actually tell people I'm the 59 minute and 59 second bunny because I know they really <laughs> want to get under an hour. But you know, they're so happy and they're so pleased and it's just so nice to see them like achieve their goals. And if I can add, if you're not going to volunteer at race, we can go out and watch. Because yeah. it means so much to the runners to have the people cheering. You know, it's your big chance. Get out there, play your saxophone on the street. You know, bang a pot and pan together. You, it's your big excuse to get out in the middle of public, make a fool out of yourselves, and make some noise because the runners love it. It makes a huge difference. And I think, too, uh, just reflecting on my own experiences and the people that I've spoken with, having the support is it increases your likelihood of actually doing it again. And then you become a lifelong runner or a lifelong athlete of some, you know, at some level. Right? You know, when I first went down to, to watch the race for the first time, you realize that not everybody runs these races who's tall, thin, and skinny. There are tall, there are short, there are, are, are men, women, all sorts. And for me, that was motivational for me to run some races yeah. myself personally. It Absolutely. It's such a, and it is a community, as you say. It really, truly is. So if people want to get more information, they go to runottawa.ca. Yes. And they can find out about volunteering there. Extra mile crew, yes. Extra that. mile crew and, and volunteering in general. And yeah. volunteering in general. And if you and there's also all sorts of teams you can donate to, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for for joining us and uh, for taking a time out of your 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 bunny day. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll see you on race day. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I'll be there absolutely, and I know that uh, half of Ottawa will be there as well. All right, so uh, we are going to be back right after this. We've got Julie Finley ready to roll. Literally, the Rideau Valley Roller Derby is in the studio, and they are challenging her to upgrade her skills from mere roller skating to roller derby. Stay tuned.